1939, again, Frigidaire is the leader. Leadership is not earned by a single day's brilliance. It is attained only after years of achievement. The new Frigidaire is born of a rich background of experience. The same type of engineering and research that made possible Frigidaire's famed meter miser, the coal control, quick cube trays, automatic reset defroster, the hydrator, porcelain on steel construction, has made possible the masterpiece for 1939. One of the outstanding developments of this new Frigidaire for 1939 is its rugged one-piece steel thermal sealed cabinet. This new cabinet is the latest development in a long record of engineering and mechanical progress. This sturdy beauty of design was an engineering dream a few years ago. There weren't the machines to make this modern styled refrigerator cabinet. Special tools had to be built. Special dies for the power presses. There used to be a separate top, a separate base, a separate apron. Because human inventiveness hadn't devised methods of shaping a one-piece cabinet without breaking the steel. So Frigidaire developed the new machines. Frigidaire put the new machines to work. The making of the 1939 cabinet is an impressive chain of operations. Highest quality steel, steel made to Frigidaire's own exacting specifications, rides on overhead cranes to the presses. Giant presses with a tremendous force of 350 tons. Into these formidable jaws goes the formless steel, molding and shaping six operations on six different presses. Then, the powerful hydraulic muscles of the folding machines bend the shaped pieces into the main structure. The bottom joins the main structure, and the multi-fingers of the automatic electric welders make them one. Then, the same electric fusion for the top, and now there no longer is a separate top, a separate base a separate apron, but this revolutionary new cabinet is formed into one solid fortress of sturdy steel. There's constant inspection to be sure of quality workmanship. Then doors from the giant presses meet the one-piece solid steel cabinets, now ready for the metal finishing operation. Here, skilled metal finishers polish the steel surface to satin smoothness. Their buffers spin at the high speed of 3,600 revolutions a minute. The doors and cabinets move on. Those to receive Dulux finish enter the bonderizing tunnels. The purpose of bonderizing is to remove every trace of grease and dirt from the steel surface and to make the surface rust resisting throughout its life. The protection provided by bonderizing is equivalent to several coats of lacquer. More than seven million gallons of bonderizing fluids are sprayed from a thousand nozzles every 24 hour period. Dulux meets the bonderized steel in specially constructed spray rooms where filtered air under pressure eliminates all possibility of dust and dirt entering and a waterfall of special chemicals keeps the air absolutely free of Dulux particles. After the first coat, doors and cabinets pass along to ovens where they are baked at a temperature of 370 degrees. Inspection again, then careful wet sanding to ensure smoothness of the Dulux surface. The finish coats and a final baking. Another conveyor carries the doors and cabinets which are to receive the lifetime porcelain finish. Here, as with the bonderizing process, a series of chemical baths remove every trace of grease and dirt. There is, however, an additional operation. In this bath, the surface of the steel is etched with acid 
so the porcelain will actually become a part of the steel. In the largest porcelain enameling plant in the world, doors and cabinets are dipped and sprayed for the ground coat of Frigidaire Lifetime Porcelain. Next comes the first firing at 1570 degrees. The finish coats are applied with a spray gun. Then final firing in 1510 degrees of controlled furnace heat. After careful inspection, both Dulux and porcelain cabinets are ready for the assembly line. On the assembly line, the cabinets are sealed as a final protection against any possible entrance of moisture, packed with Frigidaire's special insulation. The one-piece steel thermosealed cabinet receives the food compartment liner, and now it's ready for the refrigerating system, the simplest refrigerating mechanism ever built. The meter miser has been tested and assembled with surgical care, special illumination, special chromium-plated tools and conveyors. All air entering the room is filtered, moisture content strictly controlled, air temperatures maintained at a constant level. The most accurate gauges known to man are used for checking dimensions, gauges measuring to one hundred thousandth of an inch. By such rigorous scientific control is the reputation of the famed meter miser protected. The steel case is electrically welded into one piece, a permanent fortress against dirt, moisture, and leaks. The meter miser meets the freezer and condenser, baking for five hours as a positive final warrant against moisture. Then charging of the refrigerating systems by automatic charging machines, which assures that every unit receives a scientifically measured amount of refrigerant and oil. With exactness that is positively uncanny, this miracle device, developed by Frigidaire factory engineers for 1939 production, eliminates the possibility of too much or too little, guarantees that all charging is absolutely accurate. Now back on the assembly line, the one-piece steel thermosealed cabinet receives the simplest refrigerating mechanism ever built. The door with ball bearing suspension goes into place. Then more inspection. And finally, although thorough inspection, testing and checking has constantly taken place during the construction of this marvelous new refrigerator, there is still a final test that assures complete customer satisfaction, a test that's exclusive with Frigidaire. Each individual Frigidaire, just as it will be installed in the home, is tested for six hours of actual operation for temperatures, ice freezing, current consumption, and overall performance. This in a vast room where temperatures are maintained constantly above 90 degrees. When these tests are finished, there can be no doubt that each Frigidaire offers the best possible all-around refrigeration service. Out of all this, designing, engineering, precision workmanship, the constant testing and inspection, has come this masterpiece of modern manufacturing. But Frigidaire wanted some means of dramatically demonstrating the almost unbelievable strength of this new cabinet construction. So this Frigidaire cabinet was picked at random from the factory production line. And right before the eyes of distributors, district managers, sales managers, and district representatives gathered in Dayton for the convention preview, put to an amazing test. An elephant weighing over four tons was to stand on top of this new Frigidaire. And it must not show any signs of strain under this tremendous load. Will it take it? Can this new Frigidaire stand up under such terrific punishment? Those were the questions that flashed through everyone's mind. But look, our elephant isn't in doubt. And as he cautiously but firmly places each foot 
on top of the frigid air, it is proved without a question of doubt that this new frigid air cabinet is a real masterpiece of construction. Yes, gentlemen, here is a cabinet so sturdy, so strong, that the door can be opened and closed while it supports this tremendous load of over four tons. What a demonstration, a test more severe than any cabinet has been subjected to before. What proof of Frigidaire's marvelous cabinet construction. A cabinet with strength and ruggedness built into it so that it is virtually a fortress of steel. Truly, this revolutionary new one-piece thermo-sealed Frigidaire cabinet is worthy of the highest acclaim. And so, all these, the quality materials, workmanship and construction, the new one-piece steel thermo-sealed cabinet, the simplest refrigerating mechanism with the marvelous meter miser are the fundamentals of better refrigeration that are contained in every model in the line from the highest to the lowest in price. Thank you.